So the men's doubles. Final. And the defending champions will get us underway. Now we're on the low start, on the low serve to start us off. Not the best of starts for the Danes. Of course, the Japanese pair benefited from a walk over part way through their semi final against Tai Yun and Fu Hai Feng. It was 39 in the first game when the Chinese World Olympic champions retired injured. about injuries and sadly they do happen and but it does raise an interesting issue really as far as badminton is concerned because you know it's a very important point that the Japanese pair have had a long time to recover from their semi-final whereas the Danish pair after finishing at midnight they'll have had to warm down stretch out get something to eat uh, in preparation for today's final, there's been a drastic difference between the two pairs. Yeah, it's been very, very different, and it's diff difficult to do anything about it. I mean, you can, of course, try to schedule according to it, but then again, you want to schedule according to the audience and the television, and there might also be players playing two categories. So. Yeah. But then. Um, I feel at least when, when there's two sessions and, and we play the finals so relatively early Sunday, I think it would be fair to, to play the two semifinals in the same session. Yeah. Good point. As indeed they did with the mixed doubles. No, oh, I think beg the tournament organisers pardon here because in fact both men's doubles were played in the evening session but one was yeah you're right very they were but yeah. one was very very quick yeah and the other one took one and a half hour yeah yeah i apologize about that i'm getting my facts wrong short high serve here from Matthias Bull or a very very high short serve racket not pointing in a downward direction this is our service judge Chen Chia Shen from Taipei bewildered when the players start asking because the service judge gives a very clear hand signal as to what the fault has been called for there should be no need whatsoever to verbalize and I mean, if the players ask every time there's no need for the service judge to, to use these hand signals so I think the, the umpire should just decline and, and order the players to play on because yeah. they can just watch the service just see up this yeah. was wrong
Well, the only previous time that these two pairs have met each other, which was over a year ago in the second round of the Denmark Super Series event, it was two comfortable games for the Danes. But I thought prior to the start of this match, I thought, well, this could be very interesting because I think the Japanese pair have improved considerably over the last 12 months or so. Yeah. I have a feeling that um, if the Danes can sort of maintain the concentration, it's going to be an easy victory for them. The Japanese are really, really good at the fast-paced game. However, there's not going to be that much fast-paced game if it's up to the Danes. Um, but we saw yesterday that mistakes were creeping in, Five, like here, for instance. Nine. And um, it's up to the Japanese pair to, to take advantage of that. Put so much pressure on the Danes. that they make these kind of errors. Oh, what a good return of serve. It is one of the Danes key competences, uh, the service situation. The first four shots, very strong there. That is awful. What has happened to his serve? Six, ten. So brilliantly during the China Open, but um, we actually played Matthias's team Odense in a team match, and he struggled a lot there as well. try to avoid lifting very very high to the Danes. Now yeah, we'll set up a good return of serve from Carsten Morrison. Now nicely done. 11 7. Four point advantage here in the game interval. and uh, urging the Danes to keep moving forward. Forward is Hiroyuki Endo. Good judgment by Custom Owens. Now, what's he going to do with the serve this time? Matthias Bolt. Yeah, thought as much. It's just wide. Could have been extremely lucky for the Danes had that been on the line. Quite poor service. And a miss hit defense.
never actually won a Super Series title, this Japanese pair. Just one final. It was also here in China, the China Masters earlier this year. So important that uh, that player here, Ayakawa, reaches that one. Right in over his head. him first that was a fault but I'm not sure that the umpire actually no. called the fault very difficult to see from where he's sitting a good defense uh, it's a bit too easy for the Japanese killing uh, their attack on them Just block it, coach says. Need to hit it so hard. Oh, it's much better serve. fast. Actually all the Japanese men's doubles players really, really fast on their feet. 13, 16. What a jump. Some 
returns uh, Carsten Mogensen. Very, very good angle. Athletic play. variation on the serve. say that um, most of this first game have gone according to the Danish wishes. champions Pressurise Matthias Bo, aren't they? Simply him out on there. Awful lot of their attack. And I actually think uh, Matthias has been playing a quite good first game, but um, at the end of last day's match, he looked a bit tired, and the uh, question is how is he going to cope with the pressure when they change the sides here? Oh, a super return. Yeah. And indeed, the defending champions close out the opening game. 21 17.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Somehow this Japanese pair have got to turn their defensive play into their own attacking play. Well, that's interesting. The umpire wants to change the shuttle. Well, the umpire saying or implying that Matthias Bow was interfering with the shuttle by smoothing out the feathers. Yeah. And therefore, the umpire wanted the shuttle changed. Japanese pair I'm just missing with that little block. Oh. Mm, that's nice. Longer rally. The Japanese pair couldn't help but think just too content to defend. Lucky to get away with that. Yeah, well actually, maybe they should try and defend a bit more um, regularly and sort of make it their tactics here because at the moment they're getting beaten up in the. Uh, in the game around the service situation, the first four shots the Danes are controlling. Oh, string's gone. Matthias Bond's racket.
this is one of the situations where it's possible to save some time because of course Matthias needs to change his racket but the Japanese goes out as well and Matthias takes a drink and uh, towels up and so on so a lot of time is spent between these two rallies and tests out the new racket Three, Just as good as the old one. feel that the Japanese pair need to try something different. It's all too much the same and same of what's not been working for them. Yeah, I agree with you. It's everything has been going according to the Danish plan. The Japanese must try to create some insecurity. On the Danish side. Yeah, that's better. Suddenly rushed to the net, took the half chance. In he goes. Driving the defence wrong, just lifting. It's quite obvious that if the Danes get the big angles to work with, then the Japanese are not able to defend well enough. Yeah. It's a clever return.
better from the Japanese pair. I saw a player coming forward towards the net. I didn't recognize if it, if it was Endor Hayakawa, but uh, anticipated that cast moons and just was going to block it. And that sort of changed the defense to attack for the Japanese. see that some relatively easy mistakes are creeping into the Danish game here and I think actually it's we have to give the Japanese players credit for creating these opportunities by not giving the big angles away and moving forward had the advantage at the mid-game interval. And it definitely sounds that the Japanese is there. Taking more chances, just a few to go forward. Challenge the supremacy at the net of the Danes. feel that the Japanese pair can't afford any more errors like that after the mid-game interval because once the Danes get on top and open up a bit of a gap psychologically they're going to be on a roll yeah, it's a good return from Hawakawa also lucky it hit uh, Karsten Mogensen because I think it would have gone long Service four called. called. 11, Racket not pointing in a downward direction. Um, I'd like to see that in slow because I definitely don't think that's the case. Perhaps it's hit too high above the waist, but uh, normally the racket of customers is always pointing downwards. Yeah, I agree with you. First game, the Danes building a lead nice and easy. And when 
the Japanese get the rally going, uh, opening up the court, getting space between the two Danes, so they're not close together, covering the same part of the court. They have a good chance. Japanese point of view, opening the court in the defense, and then later on finding the gaps on the Danish part of the court. Good return, nonetheless. I think he managed to finish off that rally with a broken string. Indeed. Return from Carsten Mogensen, who's been dominant in uh, short service returns from the left field. Japanese definitely needs to flick him a bit more because there's no advantage of that for them in serving these short services. Simply not accurate enough. the Japanese to to bring the attack to victory once they've got it and the problem for them still is and as it has been throughout the whole match getting the attack I'm not happy with his men.
Thomas knew that was an important rally, wasn't it? Especially as far as the Danes were concerned. 18, the Japanese, they, yeah, they played the flick serve that I asked for, and they lost the rally anyway. But at least the Danes had to make three or four quality shots to, to get it down instead of just one service return. Canada saying that Matthias Bow mustn't unduly delay his serve. He does take an age, that's for certain. Yeah, and that's short. Yeah. Was that an overall by the umpire? No, I think um, the way I saw it, the umpire called it out. Oh, sorry, the line judge called it out. Series finals. Olympic silver medalists 
have retained their Super Series finals title. Now confirmation of the score. Two straight games, 21-17, 21-19 in 46 minutes. And no celebrations on birthday for Endo.